City Sprint is a nationwide, time-sensitive delivery business supporting key sectors such as healthcare, retail and automotive and we've had a mixture of organic and acquisitional growth to date. The management buyout process began late 2010, it's very intense. What I liked about Dunedin in the outset, out of everybody that we came across, they really wanted to understand what we did and that was important to me because we had a very, very um, uh, strong opportunity. And the more that uh, the potential investor understood about that, the better it was going forward. What clearly was a great opportunity for the next investor, and ourselves of course, was a, a buy and build opportunity. Well, buy and build strategy is an excellent uh, growth strategy, particularly in a, a low growth economic environment, but it also adds a number of uh, products and services. That allows you to build market share and also to gain uh, economies of scale. The other people, of course, to benefit from uh, scale are the employees of, of both City Sprint and, all, and the employees of the target companies because a bigger business brings better career opportunities. The business has really transformed uh, since uh, Dean Eden came on board as a partner. We've done 17 acquisitions to date. We've grown our fleet from 1,500 careers to circa 3,000. A service centre network from 31 to 40 service centres. We've seen revenue growth over the years of 50% plus, as well as profits likewise. We're delivering lots of things now, uh, very specialist distribution, such as healthcare and retail. And they, they, they require new technologies, different processes. Technology is absolutely key in the sector. Um, because technology drives uh, the customer experience and as a market leader uh, in the sector you can use that position to uh, in invest right across and, and develop technology uh, to uh, service customers both from national customers uh, to small regional customers. You really have to innovate or, or you don't move forward. So we're spending an incredible amount of time and money on um, diversifying our business. I've often been said that uh, we're a distribution business, not a technology business. I can say today that's completely the reverse. We are a technology-led business, and it's going to be the uh, uh, it's going to be un underpin our success as we go forward. Open, honest, and regular dialogue uh, is key. In private equity, you want to receive bad news as quickly as you want to receive good news, because I guess a problem uh, shares a problem halved. And as investment partners, we can deal with those any issues uh, together. Patrick and I. Um, share a dislike for company politics so we always get to the point fairly quickly um, and uh, that helps develop trust um, through the course of the investment. Uh, our relationship with Dunedin, uh, I don't know if it could be much better. It goes back to a dynamic board, it goes back to being open and transparent, you know, sharing ideas, you know, not being afraid to ask the dummy question. Uh, that trust has allowed Dunedin to support myself and the management team in terms of building the business. So it, it couldn't be better, to be honest. And um, you know, smart minds around a table with trust thrown into the mix is a very powerful combination.